Welcome to Amateur Redneck Workshop. I'm Harold and today I've got another uh, rifle scope review. This time it's the Sonic King Tactical AO scope. It's a 3 to 9 power scope which is right for hunting. As you guys know if you want to hunt you want a scope that gives you a larger field of view and not so much magnification that it's hard to keep it on the target. Whereas if you're target shooting, you want a high amount of magnification and you don't care about the field of view. Well, this one has an object, adjustable objective so that it can get you to get rid of the parallax. And so I think we're going to like it. First thing out of the box is a little Allen wrench for mounting it. Let's see what else we got in the box here. Whoa. Okay, there's an instruction manual. We'll probably read that later. <laughs> um, a lens cleaning cloth and a scope all wrapped up in a plastic bag. Let's bring the bag off of here. All right, comes with lens covers already on it. We'll take the lens covers off. see it it comes with uh, with the scope rings already mounted on it this is I think 40 millimeter oh no, I'm sorry how much lift I think uh, 17 millimeters lift something like that about the right size to fit on your average rifle that doesn't have anything big on the end of it and I'm going I'm going to put this on my Savage Mark II and take it to the range and sight it in and run it through its paces. But before we do any of that, we need to talk, sort of give this thing a looking over. You've got an adjustable lens here for however many diopters it takes to make your eye see the, the crosshair correctly. This little ring right here is where you adjust it for the magnification. I think you can see all the little numbers there, three to nine. This end here, this is your adjustable objective, and if you take a look at it, you will see it's marked for how many yards that you might have it all the way out to infinity. This gets rid of the parallax that you would have if you didn't have an adjustable objective, so that makes this one of your better scopes right off, just from the fact that you do have an adjustable objective. And of course you've got the elevation adjustment and the windage adjustment underneath these little caps here. Whoa, I keep dropping things. And I like this adjustment. You don't have to have any wrenches. You can grab hold of this with your finger and turn it. That, that makes it a lot more convenient. A lot of them you have to put a screwdriver down into to turn. So I think this will be more convenient. All right, let's get around now to mounting it on the rifle. All right, this is a Savage Mark II 22 long rifle. And uh, before we do anything, the bolt is not installed and the magazine is here. It's empty. So if you're a safety Nazi, you need to look elsewhere. Maybe go watch kitten videos or something. Anyway, they've already installed the scope rings on there but I'm not going to trust that it was lined up properly I'm going to loosen one of them so that it'll move around I may loosen both of them actually and uh, this thing's got these big knobs here that you can turn by hand or with a quarter whatever you got that would be handy if you're out in the field and you want to take it off and use something else. Of course with this rifle, there's no other sight. This one doesn't come with iron sights. I guess some other model of it might. So what we're going to do, we're going to back this thing off. And I'm going to walk around the other side where I can see how much I like fitting on the, on the mount.
Okay, these scope rings are possibly a little built so that one side is lower than the other on the top attachment brackets. So when you put them on, you've got to clamp it onto your rail. And then you'll want them, of course, loose when you do that. And then you can orient the thing however you want it. But that, that could mislead you if you tried to set these two screws level with each other because that's not going to work. All right. Now that I have a little device here, the little laser that most people use for sighting in bore sighting rifles, this thing will get you close to the paper. May not, not get you on, on the paper, but it'll get you close. So I'll poke them in the barrel and turn it on and take a look down it and we'll probably try to set the camera up so you can see what it looks like down the barrel or rather down the scope you know what I mean now getting this camera straight enough on the scope is sort of difficult but you can see the red dot on the wall down there which is uh, my, my laser and you can see the crosshairs so what I'll do is I'll drop one the elevation right on down till we get pretty much in that guy and holding the camera makes this difficult to do but we're going to turn this guy try to move left to the to that red spot I don't know if I'm going the right way or not but I think I am Probably not. Hold on. Let me take a look. Okay, while I was talking to you guys, I was steady turning the adjustment the wrong direction, which you probably already knew since you was watching me. All right, now that's lined up and could possibly get us on the paper. You know, these little lasers are not necessarily, you know, precision-made machines, so <laughs> at least it'll get us close. We know it, that everything moves. So I'll go to the range, sight it in, take a few shots, and uh, then we'll have a sort of summary of how well the scope works. Okay, to summarize this scope, it's a 3 to 9 power zoom scope with a 40 millimeter objective lens. That means that uh, it's a hunting scope, obviously. Now, the tube of it is made out of 6061 T6 aluminum, so it's a good strong aluminum tube. It should hold in there with you really nice, whatever use you've got. It comes with the scope rings already on it. Of course, for installing it, I'd loosen them up so that in case the guy that put them on was holding it in his hand, you know, you won't twist anything. It's got reasonably convenient uh, adjustments on the side. They're a lot easier to adjust when you're not looking through the camera and talking to somebody. Uh, you know, if you just walk around the side of it and turn them. And I would guess once you've got it adjusted, it's going to stay like that. All right? So it's got an adjustable objective on the lens from 10 yards out to infinity. That helps prevent parallax. And if you know what parallax on the scope is where you see the crosshairs, if you move your head around and you see the crosshairs move, that's parallax. So you want to get a, a scope with an adjustable objective to eliminate that and it helps the focus a whole lot better too. Well, when 22 Pinkster reviews a rifle or a scope or whatever, he always shoots for groups instead of bullseyes. So I'm going to shoot for groups. Let me get it lined up on the target, and I'll bring you right back. So we've been to the range and 
we fired five test shots at 50 yards and there's what you got about a one inch group it would have done better I know from experience if I hadn't had that 10 to 12 mile an hour wind gusting from the left but I did so anyway the scope performed excellent everything was clear and bright and there's no complaints with it it zeroed quickly and I'd say if, if you're looking for a scope like that I expect this is a good one all right well that's all folks uh, you all try to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber leave a comment if you got something to say and above all remember keep on keeping on bye now